Your favorite game to go under, Jeff, is what? Yeah, it's going to be the same pick as, as my spread mm. pick. It's Carolina, Arizona. I mean, it's 44 and a half. It doesn't seem like a big total. If Pierce was here, he'd be like, well, it's an NFL game. It's only 44 points. <laughs> this is an easy R. Pierce isn't here, thank God. We've got a rational person in Kenny Ducey. But um, these are two slow-paced teams. Uh, you know, they like, they like to run the ball. And I think, again, you look at the Arizona Cardinals, Kyler Murray's still not 100%. DeAndre Hopkins not 100%. They are looking at this game as – Let's just get a win and get out of here. I think you're going to see a very conservative game plan from both sides. Again, you've got the Panthers with P.J. Walker, you know, again, a, a guy who just you know, in his one start, yeah, he completed over 70% of his passes, but it was for like six yards per attempt. This isn't a guy who's going to be chucking it downfield a lot. They're going to be running Christian McCaffrey. I see this one as an easy under. Uh, two good defenses, too, two slow-paced teams. I think that 44 and a half, I'm surprised it actually hasn't moved to a lower number yet. Okay, we have a few folks behind the scenes who are very confused right now and worried about you. Did you just say Kenny is rational? I did, yes, I know. It's a hot take. I'm just full of hot takes. Wow. This it's is Friday. Take. This is the whole season Pierce is the comparison. You know, Pierce Dietrich, the guy who likes to bring up like, uh, like you know, a Ross Dwelly every show. So, I mean. <laughs> Dude, I, that's like immediately what I thought of last night when the Ravens lost. We talked about it uh, on Twitter. You about Ross I, Dwelly? No, no, no. About like Pierce being like every team that loses is just a terrible football yeah. team. So I was waiting for him this morning <laughs> to be like, the Ravens are a terrible football team. They are terrible. Okay, uh, Kenny, is your favorite game to go under terrible? Yeah, I also I just think that teams that lose generally are terrible. Uh, no, I'm gonna go under here on the Packers Seahawks game. Look, uh, this these are this is a defense, right? The Packers defense we've seen it now over the last few weeks. I know that the Chiefs offense is like actually probably like bottom bottom half of the league at this point, but they they played really really well last week. They kept them in that game with Jordan Love at quarterback, and they've been they've been really really solid. They've been near the top ten in DVOA against the pass. So I think that they're going to do a decent job on Russell Wilson, who could be uh, pretty rusty coming off this this long layoff due to the finger injury. And on the other side of the coin, I know that, you know, the the the, uh, the pack, sorry, the Packers love to throw the football and the Seahawks secondary is one of the worst in football. But I also think that, you know, we've seen the last few weeks, they really want to try to establish the run. The Seahawks do have a decent rushing, uh, rushing attack in terms of stopping the run. So I think that this game, at least on one side of the coin, the Seahawks probably don't score that many points. And I do think that, you know, maybe there's some also some rust with Aaron Rodgers if he does indeed play in this one. Um, the Seahawks defense also, for what it's worth, has looked decent uh, the last few weeks as well. Maybe they're improving just a little bit in the secondary. I just think that this is too many points to, to, to lay here, especially. I know that the, the names, right? You look at Russell Wilson, you look at Aaron Rodgers, you want to just lay the lay the over here because they're they're two of the most talented quarterbacks in the league. But I do think that with Chris Carson back with the Seahawks, they're going to want to try to run the ball. I think the Packers are going to try to run the ball as well, try to ease Aaron Rodgers back. So I, I can see an under here.